We've got a teacher. Yes. At our old high school. Yep. Mark's alma mater. Technically not mine. And what do we can fly high till they die? What are we talking about from Ben Franklin? So this teacher uh, said some things that may or may not have been insensitive, or you know, they're definitely worth knowing about. Definitely inappropriate in my eyes, but go on, give more of the backstory. The first thing she posted a video on Facebook mm-hmm. about how white people can't be racist, which. Whether or not that's a point that you believe, like, the belief isn't isn't what bothers me. It's the fact that she's a teacher in a public school. Well, well kind of. Let's, let's throw them a couple clips from this before we get to that. Black people cannot be racist. Let me repeat that. Black people cannot be racist. Excuse me, why? To be racist, you must be prejudiced and you must wield institutional power. And although anyone in this country can be prejudiced, anyone can believe something negative negative about someone based on their race, whether you're black or white, um, you cannot be racist if you don't wield institutional power. And black people don't wield institutional power in this country. Now, before you start Barack Obama all over me, let me explain um, that even though there are black people who hold some power, they don't hold institutional power. Um, And the outcomes of prejudice are very different, uh, which is why it's important to recognize what is racism and what is prejudice. Um, Because everybody can be the victim of prejudice, but the outcomes are very different um, if you are the victim of racism. All right, so let's go on. It's the fact that she's kind of like, the, the way that she's presenting this information doesn't seem like, hey, this is my opinion, here's what people, like, you know, this is my opinion, let's talk about it. I mean, it. even like, if, if it was an opinion, it was <clears throat> completely wrong. Well, yeah, it's a wrong opinion, but... In my eyes, you can't have an opinion about a definition if it's not, if it's a, a not a slang word. No, we, but that's the thing, a lot of people use, a, a lot of people use a different definition of racism. <sighs> It just it's my thing. My problem with this is we. I think we we dealt with the racism thing. I don't know so so much on the videos talking about how black people can't be racist. It's obvious any intelligent person can say this. It just she's flippantly ignorant. She is she acting like oh I would know. I'm a teacher, so I'm gonna give you an example from a teacher's perspective. Black people cannot be racist because they don't have institu- institutional power. In a definition, the way I was taught. Um, Wait. Pretty much everyone was taught for the longest time. You could be racist no matter... I mean, most people, most white people don't have institutional power. They're just white, uh, and they're still racist. I'm pre- Billy Bob that fucks his uh, fucking uh, goat and hates, want to shoot and lynch black people, he has no institutional power. He's just racist. I just... It boils down to that for me, and I don't know. But we, this is this is more interesting than that. It just, yeah, it just seemed really condescending, that video. But, oh, but that video got like a million and a half views. So. I know. It's crazy. The video I sent you or the video I linked to? The video you linked to. Okay. Yeah. Because the, the Facebook video. Yeah. Yeah. And then we've got some social media quotes from students that are saying, they're quoting things that this teacher said to them, allegedly. I got to make that clear. These are things the teacher allegedly even if said. one Even if one is true, it's still inappropriate. So but go the, on. And, and these are the people that are defending her. So it's not like these are people that are lying about it, trying to make her look bad. These are people that are supporters of hers. So keep that in mind. You know who makes my life miserable at Franklin? White boys. Go on. Let's, let's, keep, let's keep it all rolling. Let's keep it all rolling. A white man won't appreciate your body. Uh, I think it says a student's name. So... You know, telling a student, white men, uh, white men make her miserable, and mm-hmm. white men won't appreciate the female form, which is ridiculous. Because if you're straight, you're going to appreciate the female form in all its forms. Yeah, yeah. The and if you're slim, gay, you're going to appreciate the very curvy, the coke bottle, the upside down, upside down coke bottle. <laughs> cool. Anyway, sideways apple. The whole, you know, won't appreciate. That's ridiculous. People appreciate beauty. 
regardless of sexuality, unless they're asexual, then you know they, that's that's lame. that's <laughs> depends on yeah how they fall. Uh, then we've got an email allegedly from the teacher to a student. Mm. Uh, the school is the administration is very supportive of my message. The aforementioned white people can't be or black people can't be racist. Um, the only thing you can tell your friends to do is give the school five stars on Facebook or Google to counteract the horrible trolls. Like, one, don't don't be metagaming school reviews <laughs> to counteract the trolls when you're, like, actively being a divisive racist. And it's just, it's just shitty and dumb. Go, it's keep, just, keep, it's just keep, a keep it going. Thing. Keep it going. And then we have a... This is a whole collection of them. Um, male student would suck you dry. Actual words spoken by this teacher. This teacher just stopped to talk to me in the bathroom. Please, this is uncomfortable. This teacher mm -hmm. just said she thinks I'm a makeout queen. At least you didn't say you're queen at sucking dick. This teacher's bio, aka let's discuss this student's sperm. These are just things like you just don't say. Uh, just, just another quote from the teacher. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm married to black guys, so obviously I like big things. Ma'am? Audrey student won't stop yanking my bandana. Is that supposed to be a euphemism for something? said the teacher. <clears throat> I took my hat off for a second and teacher started touching my hair. You all know how I feel about being touched. Oh, I, this is my favorite one. Oh. I love Clancy. She's not afraid to let anyone know that she loves big black dicks. That's the, that's my favorite one, but... Yeah, that. All these... We could, you could show all the pictures up on the screen, but it's just... We, we should talk about more about like how inappropriate this is this is because i i came to go to school i came to school to learn allegedly to learn not to learn about the teacher <laughs> not to learn about how like her affinity for men or whatever it's just inappropriate i came to learn about biology or chemistry and it makes you think that how a person so inappropriate and seeming to not just this lack understanding of things such as racism How'd she get this far? How'd she get a teacher's degree? I mean, that's not hard. But how'd she get a degree? I'm guessing nah, she, it's, difficult. it's not as difficult, but... but True, yeah. Like, anyway. How'd she get a degree in chemistry or biology <coughs> if she... Uh, <coughs> I mean, my only, my only supposition here is that I guess her professor was black. So... Okay. <laughs> that's... My, my whole problem is, like, I don't care about these things. Yeah. I mean, it's not something I would want to hear, but whatever. At least let the parents know. Like, the, the parents deserve to know if they have a problem with it, they should be able to take their kids out without being threatened by students or having their kids threatened by students. What's the... What was... With most people, what what's their takeaway? What was their problem with this story? Uh, that Casey... That, that the teacher was being slandered? Everyone I saw was like, I don't tolerate any slander of this teacher. And this teacher's uh, an angel. Don't talk bad about her let's defend her from the clan just I'm like because, we're not the clan we're just disagreeing just because you agree i know it's a lot i know it's for a lot of teachers i think you see this too you saw this too the teachers that people agree with they'll defend them till the end even though what they're doing is complete, completely inappropriate there's a lot of in senior year there's a lot of uh, social studies teachers that were well, a couple of them were vocal about their opinions and some of the students cling to them even though their opinions giving them out in a lesson or in a course of a class, it's highly inappropriate, and not not fit for that, and they'll defend them even though what they're doing is fundamentally wrong. Just like this, it's a little bit more obvious here because there's a lot of evidence, alleged allegations. I mean, not allegations, but a lot of evidence it's here. Quotes directly from students that are defending her. Yeah, just showing how inappropriate all all this is, and um, I obviously. And I'm saying obvious, like, from, like, the words she says. She, she, uh, because it's a little bit more complex of an issue, but looking back on the Coach Ryan thing, he said the N-word, not in, like, an, 
Not trying, not, not trying, trying not to be, be offensive, offensive yeah. but uh, but it was offensive. But he's not trying to be offensive. This is more offensive, in my opinion, to my sensibilities. And I, I, I get that I'm unique. I'm a, I'm a snowflake, but this is more offensive to me because it's it's it's, it's just a fundamental misunderstanding, and le- and it's really just an offensive thing, and inappropriate. Coach Ryan was inappropriate. Trying to be productive about it, but he did in a dumbass way. Yeah, he was an idiot. So my thing is here, is this grounds for firing or suspension or anything like that? It should be. But there's from the staff faculty perspective, it's not looking like that will ever happen. It doesn't look like the school's gonna do anything. Cause it's a liberal school. Now listen, I'm not out here saying you should fire this teacher. This teacher's a racist hoe bag or whatever. I don't care enough. I'm not go I don't go to the school, I didn't graduate from the school. It's not I have, like, no connection to it anymore. But people need to know about these things so they should form their own opinions. If parents don't want their students in a classroom like that, parents should be able to say, hey, this teacher is saying some pretty pretty weird things, pretty out there things. I'd like to move my student to this different science class. I... My, my thing is, is that... Uh, well, another thing. It's a liberal school... Very so, liberal. This is a very liberal school. And what I want out of any governing body or any, anyone with power, I want consistency. Mm-hmm. So even though what Coach Ryan did is a very, I don't want to pin that on conservatives, but let's just say that's a conservative thing to do. Um, it's a regressive thing to do. You can yeah. just say that. So let's say, let's say like this. Because I, I mean, when I was talking to my, my sister, talking to my sister about this, this is not liberal. Yeah, about this. Oh. It's not, in my eyes, this is not a liberal or conservative thing, either case. It's just stupid. It's incredibly stupid. It's just, it's, you know, just, it's just stupid. So, they, uh, but since since a lot of people agree with them and a lot of people like the teacher because she's saying things like this, and uh, and I guess people that other, like white people, white men specifically, they probably just shrug it off like, I don't give a shit. I come here. It's easy ass class. She's talking about black men the whole time. I'm not going to do anything. Allegedly. I don't know. I haven't had her class. But I'm guessing most people that may disagree with her don't care. And people that do agree with her are really passionate about her as a teacher. So, she's going to stay. So all in all, it's just a sad, stupid thing. I think it's indicative of you know not just our action on social media, but our, as a whole, as citizens, we're really selective about things like this. But now, I should clarify: I haven't had her as a teacher, but mm. I have seen her interact with students in this kind of gossipy way. And she she said a couple things where I'm like, I wouldn't want a student to say that to me. I definitely don't want a teacher to say that to me well i mean if you're my friend and you like like big black dicks no, I, mean, I mean that's I fine but i'm like yeah. if if like the, the head cheerleader walks around and is like you know i like sucking this this kid's gonna suck you dry and i'm like <laughs> no stop just stop if a teacher does that i'm like you need you need to leave yeah, I, mean, I know just mop your mouth mm. <laughs> well she was mopping something with that mouth but i mean if a lot of my friends if the teacher walked around Saying that this person will suck your dry, like oh yeah, and, you know. No, I mean yeah. With our friends, it's one thing, but like, I get uncomfortable when strangers do that, even strangers that are my age. So a stranger that's supposed to be in a position of authority, a position of power, institutional power, you could mm. say. So, confirm this teacher's racist. No, well, I mean, no, I'm not gonna say that, but. No. Just a little bit stupid. It's just say. ridiculous. Yeah. Franklin can't get any good press anymore. I mean... Unless they make it themselves. I mean, the last thing, the last three. This one, Coach Ryan. Then the one before that was uh, the soccer team winning four uh, seasons. Yeah, right, champion. but they have to, like, make that. True. They have to make that <laughs> known. Anyways, is that <laughs> it? Is that all for social media mayhem That this is week? not all. Oh, it's not? Necessarily. No, there's, like, there's, like, a couple more. A couple more. These are a little more positive. Okay. Uh, this one. Uh, the best feeling ever is seeing another POC in your class. Like, yay, I'm going to have a friend in here. That's a little uh, funny. Mm-hmm. It's like, okay, so you think you can only be friends with POCs? You do you. All right. That's whatever. Remember, people don't fall in love with image quality. They fall in love with characters and stories. That's why you will watch that old movie over and over again. That old 90s porno all over again. Okay. I'm just so, being yeah. relatable. Okay, yeah. Right. Uh, and then this is another one. Story idea. Toy Story Universe. 
where a sex doll technically qualifies as a toy, but is well made enough to pass for a human and decides to live as one. Humans don't know the difference, but toys do. It's basically a sitcom. Hmm. Well, I don't know anything about that, but I wanted to ask you about this. Morally, I think legally in some countries, this is a crime. But having a, a sex doll modeled off a little kid, how do you feel about that? Um, I would rather they do that to a doll than an actual child. Okay. So if it, if it actually does stop them from hurting a real person, then yeah. But if it fosters the feeling that that's okay, and then they do it to children, then I would be concerned. So I don't, I don't know. I, I, it'd have to be something I'd like study. Yeah, that, that's, that, that was what I was just thinking. If, 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 if it pre- is a preventative measure, like if that's their medicine, I'm okay with it. But if, if it's like training, eesh. then get it off the streets. You know, I just off the it. streets and out of the sheets. Yeah, out of the sheets, yes. And then this last one. YouTube is nothing more than a representation of the greater corporate culture. Once people realize they can make money, that becomes the motivation. The reason you guys connect with older YouTubers is because none of us knew we would make money. YouTube famous wasn't a thing. As uh, yeah, there's this truth in that. Um, I mean, I, I just like I gravitate to YouTubers that I feel are relatable, entertaining, whatever, whatever. I don't, I don't like YouTubers just because they've been here a long time. But I, 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 I actually don't like most old older YouTubers. Like I actively dislike a lot of them. Why is that? Because they're just not interesting to me. And they do seem fake. Like uh, Tyler Oakley and Smosh and Shane Dawson. Yeah. It just doesn't work for me. I mean, Philip DeFranco. I love Philip DeFranco and, and Jack's films. I mean, Smosh feels fake now. But back then, I really liked it. But then again, I was a retarded kid, so... I didn't watch it back then. But, like, now, I don't connect to older YouTubers at all because I think they're fake and they're too clean. A lot of them. With Tyler Oakley, I can get the clean thing with Tyler Oakley. Smosh, I feel like this is a corporate, like actual businesses getting in the way of it. And even, well, yeah, now it is. And even no, Anthony is. even admitted, I think this past summer, that he wanted to quit because he felt like he couldn't have that creative freedom because of the business side of it was there. Yeah. Um, But, you know, I like old YouTubers. I just like good YouTubers. I think yeah. uh, this is this thing. And is mine the motivation for us? No, not necessarily. I mean, eventually, if I want to do it all the time, I will have to make money, and I mean that's the difference for us. But would that, like, if my motivation was to make money, the content would change because I'd make a bunch of top ten videos talking about bullshit that I don't care about, but most people love. Top ten reasons to watch this video. Yeah, top ten reasons, like just basically watch Mojo and what culture would just be this channel because that's everyone clicks. Watch on Mojo. <sighs> but yeah. Well, well, why'd you pick that one, though? Like, I like, thought it was just nice to, you know, put that out there. Maybe remind us if we needed to be reminded. Yeah. S- strengthen us if we needed to be strengthened. That there's a lot of people on YouTube that are just here to sap money out you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But, but there are a lot of genuine YouTubers. So we're not saying that everyone's a money grubbing. Like me. Sweet, sweet money. <coughs> Anyways, is that is that it for us? Yeah, that's it. Okay, that's it. Well, good job. Thank you. You got to get some good stories there. And meet us next week with better stories and uh, maybe more applicable to the United States as a whole. But I felt that. Hopefully. Uh, yeah. Yeah, hopefully. But uh, that's pretty good to start off. Uh, like the video, all that good stuff. Share it. Share is the most important thing. Sharing is the most important thing. But if you don't do any of that, that's all, that's all okay. Have a nice day. Goodbye.